If you know about Northern California, you most likely know about Silicon Valley. But why is it called Silicon Valley? Is the ground made of silicon? Is there a silicon mine around here? There is no mine. To see what silicon is, we have to go to the periodic table. Silicon is located right here on the table, number 14, and it's considered a metalloid. The reason this part of California is called silicon, because with the help of this element, they did a lot of amazing things. Microchips, one of the most important pieces to anything that's digital. Nowadays, in any electronic device, there is one element in common, and that is silicon. If we didn't have silicon, we would not be as advanced as we are today, and we wouldn't have access to all this tech. In which part of the world can you find this element? You can find it anywhere. Silicon is the second most abundant element on planet Earth. So which one is first? Oxygen. And 47% of Earth is made up of oxygen. Most of the oxygen on Earth isn't in a form of gas, but rather in a form of oxide. And it's mixed with different elements and it makes up different types of minerals. Like for example, titanium oxide. But let's continue and get back to silicon. 28% of planet Earth is silicon, so it's not rare whatsoever. Before technology blew up in the world, silicon was not an important element whatsoever. But when computers became a thing, and they tried to advance more and more every day, silicon became extremely important. If you know anything about carbon, carbon is the building blocks of life. And that is why it's called the element of life. And just like the structure where steel beams holds it up, living things are held up together by carbon. And without carbon, life wouldn't be possible. Silicon is kind of similar to carbon in that sense, but it forms a different types of bonds between different elements. Like for example, to make cement stronger, they add silicate to it, and that solves the issue of it being too brittle. They also use silicate in bathrooms, toilets, and porcelain. They also use it in different types of glass, more likely high-end glass. But these aren't the important uses of silicon. The main area that silicon is used, it's in the chip industry. But why is silicon so important in this industry? The main reason silicon is used for this type of work, it's because it's considered a semiconductor. And if you don't know what semiconductor means, it basically suggests that you could turn on and off a switch where this material conducts electricity or it doesn't conduct electricity. Just like we said, silicon is found everywhere on the planet and it's very plentiful. But why is there such a shortage of chips around the world? Nowadays, anything that's built needs different types of chips that goes from computers, different cars, a cell phone, a watch, even your car keys needs a chip. The first ever semiconductor was made in 1954 in Silicon Valley, California. But that world is very different from today's world. And after that, technology grew exponentially, especially in the semiconductor department. That is why this plentiful, not so valuable element has an insane value now. And it's extremely important for us that this type of item is available. Most of the silicon on Earth is in form of sands. They basically mine this sand, take it to a factory, and heat it up to about 2000 degrees Celsius. And whenever the silicon is in liquid form, they put it in a cylinder mold. After that, you have a cylinder that's made up of silicon metalloid. They take this cylinder and cut it into thin slices called wafers. These wafers that get cut up in this situation cost about $200 each. But this piece, after it has gone through and billions of different transistors have been added onto it, it's going to be worth hundreds of times that. Just like we said, 
Each wafer costs about $200 each beforehand. But this is not a perfect type of semiconductor in this stage. And it's extremely crucial that two other elements joins the silicon. One is phosphorus and the other one is boron. When these two elements joins the silicon on the wafer, they make the semiconductor work perfectly. We have two different chips in the world. One type is the processor type chip and the other one are different types of memory chips. The names are very obvious on what they do. The memory chip is a type of memory that has storage and the processor processes different information. So how does the silicon metalloid look like? It's basically a light silver gray type metal that's actually very shiny. When you look at it, you think it's metal but it actually is not, and that is why they call it a metalloid. So why is it when this piece is cut into a silicon wafer, it's $200? Because not just anybody can get this type of purity in a silicon wafer. From the beginning in Silicon Valley, one of the best types of transistors and semiconductors were made from the beginning, and the purity is extremely important. And nowadays, only one out of a billion atoms could be considered not silicon, and the rest have to all be silicon. And getting this type of purity is extremely difficult. Throughout history, silicon was not considered important whatsoever and nobody paid attention to it. And elements like iron, copper, or gold were extremely important throughout history. Then all of a sudden, when we get to the 1950s, engineers and scientists realized the true value of this element. Silicon is the reason that we can have an extremely powerful smartphone in our hand that's sometime stronger than our computers. And it doesn't cost $10 million. Just like we said earlier, you can find silicon everywhere on earth. But the biggest exporter of silicon is China with about 6,000 tons per year. And in second place, we have Russia, which exports 5,800 tons of silicon each year. It's also interesting to know that silicon is used for different things as well. Like for example, they add it to metal like carbon and it makes them more durable and stronger. They add silicon to aluminum, they add it to brass, they add it to bronze and even steel. But the biggest usage of this element is in the digital industry. We all know after COVID happened, there was a shortage of microchips everywhere. It's not like there was a shortage of silicon. There were even wafers available. But the technology that needs to be available for these microchips to be created, not just anybody can do it. And to this day, there is a shortage of factories that's able to produce high-end microchips.